What do I think about online dating? I haven't online dated before. Never tried it myself. I don't see anything wrong with it. Well, actually, I think that it is kind of liberating. I think it's good for people who don't go out. I think it's a good thing for people, I suppose, if they can't find the person they're looking for. Yeah. I'd probably try if I was failing finding people in real life. I guess if it works for some people, go for it. Eh? I know so many people who are looking for like a particular kind of person and they can't find that person, so I guess online dating would be good. Get to know someone before you actually meet them. Everyone gets to meet someone different and they have um, good compatibilities, I guess. Seems kind of like dumb. I wouldn't do online dating. <laughs> I'd rather like meet people through people like in real life. I, well, I like socialising with people. So, uh, no, nah, I wouldn't do it on my dating. It is really impersonal because you're going from computer to computer rather than face to face, so you don't get that instant first connection that you would in real life. Basically, you just don't really get a good idea of who each other is. I just wonder whether you'd meet people who are just, I don't know, not, I don't want to say desperate, but do you know what I mean? If you can't fight in the real world, why would you go online? Yeah. It's not real there anyway. And there's so many creeps out yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> I'd just be scared shitless and not knowing who the hell I'm actually talking to. I mean, it could be like a 40 year old man. Anyone can be what they want. You never know what you're getting yourself into, really. I think also if you meet and get to know somebody over like, you know, Facebook or Tumblr or whatever, I think that also kind of counts as online dating. I haven't used Tinder before or anything. Isn't it like real sexual? I don't know what Tinder is. Never used Tinder, no idea. I don't even know what Tinder is, so <laughs> it's, it's a root and boot site. What's yeah, this for? Quick sex, honestly. Mainly just for sex, yeah. <laughs> like I feel like the consensus is Tinder's like quite a sexual thing. I think sometimes the people on there are there for different reasons. I feel that Tinder you could end up with more of a like relationship over that. I got the Tinder app a while ago to see what it was about. It's kind of stupid. <laughs> it didn't really work. Yeah, eHarmony seems a bit more legit. eHarmony seems pretty good. I think it's weird when you make a profile because it's kind of, you're kind of selling yourself a bit. You're like, oh, yeah, look at me, look how good I am. Something like eHarmony is more for, uh, I guess, if you've got a profile up and you're paying, you're more likely to want to find um, a partner. You do get to build yourself up and sort of create an image of something you're not, but it is a little more in depth. As opposed to Tinder, I guess, which is, just a place where you just want to meet up and have fun. Often you get really, really commitment focused people on eHarmony, whereas Tinder's a bit more exciting because like, it's like you're matched up based on whether you both like each other. Tinder is just, you know, someone's face, it's a yes or a no, it's, it's a lot more shallow. Tinder's more of just a floaty thing. I don't think it's quite as serious, I wouldn't really call it online dating, it's more just to mess around a little bit of a game than anything. I don't know, I've, I've actually known people who've found cool people out of Tinder that they've continued to hang out with. Well, one of my best friends uh, met his girlfriend on Tinder and they've been going out for like a few months now and they're like pretty serious and they met on Tinder just through like casual flirting and stuff like that. So I don't know, I guess it must be pretty serious. 